What you see behind me is Monterey's number one attraction, our scenic beauty. Millions of people visit here each year to look out on the Monterey Bay. Unfortunately, only a fraction of these people see Monterey's underwater sites. Hard to believe, but it is arguably even more beautiful than our views above the water. We talked to some diving photographers who shared their images and stories. Let's take a plunge in the Monterey Bay. The Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary is one of the best diving destinations in the world. The federally protected bay attracts divers for its lush kelp forests and rocky reefs. These habitats sustain a rich diversity of wildlife, from marine mammals, strange and colorful invertebrates, swarms of jellyfish, to over 500 species of fish. Monterey has truly earned the moniker of Serengeti of the Sea. It's a way to easily go into a different planet. I mean, easily from shore, you can explore lots of different uh, habitats. And you're looking at uh, the beautiful rocky reef uh, ecosystems with usually kelp growing there. In between, you've got a lot of sandy sea floors, and there's tons of cool stuff there. For the spear fishermen, there's halibut there, big skates. You see cool stuff happening on the sand, especially at night, the breakwater. It can be far to drive to like Yosemite or the Sierras or to Death Valley to get away from civilization um, if you just need that time in nature. And what's great about here in Monterey is that you can put on a wetsuit, go snorkel or go, but if you can go diving, great. You go underwater and there's no one around. And so I've done over 300 dives out here since I started and I'm always seeing new stuff. Because of its wildlife and scenery, Monterey plays host to the Monterey Shootout, an annual underwater photo competition. So the, the Monterey Shootout is held once a year. Um, it's put on by the Northern California Underwater Photographic Society, and so it's divers from around California, sometimes even internationally, will come down to compete um, in a 24-hour period to shoot either video or photo and um, try and you know, have their stuff placed so that way you can eventually hopefully win uh, trips or other cool packages, prizes, and stuff like that. Joe won several awards for his impressive images of fluorescent wildlife. Brad Brown placed in three different categories for his beautiful footage. I've been coming here since I was a kid um, from the Bay Area, exploring sort of the surface, and I've always kind of wondered what's, you know, what's down there, what's below all the, all the kelp we see. Um, and uh, I, I don't know what drew me into it, but it's, um, it's just, it's alluring, you know, this is quite, quite the place to visit. So we're, we're down here as, as often as possible. So we, you know, we dive the, the wharf once in a while. If you wanted to see something um, small, a lot of the shots um, in my video are from uh, underneath the, um, the commercial wharf, just, just barely, um, you know, where a lot of fishermen are fishing. Um, and there's a lot of really, really great small animals there, um, nudibranchs and um, small fish and that kind of thing. And there's, they're always pretty cooperative for the, for the video camera. And then, of course, if you want to see large stuff, we could just pick a different site and we get on a boat or go down towards Carmel or um, there's always, I mean, it's never, very rarely am I disappointed with, with the things I see. And uh, always with the kelp in the background, it's something you don't see um, other parts of the world. You know, we, we travel a lot and we go to other parts of the world, but we never get this um, vertical relief we get with all the, the kelp. It's really nice. Mike Costa won first prize in two categories. The judges enjoyed his up-close interaction with Harbor Seals. This is my first first place I've ever gotten, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> well, Monterey is, Monterey is a special place to dive. It's, um, well, 
being it's in my backyard, I live in Seaside, it's special for me because it's like my own home turf. But uh, Monterey is a great place to dive because there's such a diverse amount of life here. You got, um, you know, whales come passing by, you got the sea lions, then you got the fish, um, all sorts of nudibranchs, um, all sorts of stuff to see. I've, I've dove, um, you know, all over the place, warm water, cold water. Monterey still has some of the most exciting reefs you can find. Probably my favorite thing to see is the uh, harbor seals, which is the footage that you guys hopefully will check out. And uh, my second favorite would be probably the sea lions. Um, they're both very friendly, remind me of dogs. One of the judges was Christian Demetrius, a world-renowned and Emmy Award-winning photographer and television personality. He has traveled the world, documenting our most wild places. He was thrilled to come to Monterey to participate in the event, but also to dive. For cold water and this kind of climate, I think it's one of the best places in the world. I think the most interesting here in Monterey is the kelp forest. It's something unbelievable. Like it's actually getting to the jungle but underwater so you see all those kelps, huge kelps and you have sea lions that come to play with you, harbor seals. If you're lucky you can see a sea otter and that's just the mammals. Uh, for the, all the other, you have different fish and invertebrates. It's a bunch of new things, things I've never seen in my life so uh, and you can do it from the shore like you can just walk, dive and then come back out. You park your car, go diving, find, go in another world and then come back, put your stuff and go back home easily. Whether you are a beginner or an expert, Monterey has dive sites for all abilities. There are also many dive shops and charters for gear rental, certification and tours. The diving community praises Monterey for its accessibility, particularly at the popular breakwater dive site. It's easy to find gear, to find equipment, photo gear, and to find a dive buddy as well. So there's so many people diving, so it's easy to hook up and find someone to, to dive with you. Well, Breakwater is a special place. Um, they got the, uh, the Breakwater is built on a bunch of rocks, so the rocks alone are attracting the marine life. And it's very easy access, and there's also a huge colony of sea lions that live out there on the Breakwater too. Consistently calm conditions and a shallow slope make for an easy shore entry. This is one reason it is popular as a training site. It is located at San Carlos Beach Park near Canary Row, which has plenty of parking, showers, and dive shops nearby. If you've never gone diving in cold water before, you will need the appropriate gear. This includes additional weight, thicker wetsuit, gloves, and boots. Our dive shops can inform you or supply what you need. Ask them about kelp forest and cold water diving strategies and safety. You may also consider hiring a guide or going on a dive tour. Most dive shops also provide the service. You must be scuba certified in order to dive in Monterey, book a dive trip, or rent equipment. Again, if you wish to learn and get certified, visit one of our many dive shops and ask how. Also, don't forget your pre-dive safety check. This includes diving with a knowledgeable dive buddy who has dived cold water before. Come explore the otherworldly waters of the Monterey Bay. Scuba diving here is an experience you'll never forget. We encourage you to see these sites for yourself. For more information, visit monterey.org or seamonterey.com. A special thanks to all of the photographers who shared their footage with us.